Cow now, brown cow. Cow now, brown cow. Unique New York. Unique, Unique New, New York. York. Unique New York. What's that another one? The somebody has oddly shaped feet. All right. I know, but I don't remember. We just watched it too. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome back to Foster the Meatball. I don't know why I'm doing that with my hands. My name is Jamie. And I'm Jeff. And we are here today to do our playthrough of... SB! Silver Bullet. Silver Bullet is a hand management, card management set collection, luck, push your luck type of game from Bezier Games. We just did a how to play video, so we will make sure to link that down below for you so that you can see how to play before you watch us play, or I mean, whatever, don't watch it if you don't want to. I'm not your mom. But yeah, we're just going to dive right into actually playing the game, I'll show you how it's done, and with me, of course, winning and beating Jeff, so you'll you'll get to see now, the whole process. Four game Jeff winning Ryan. streak is on the line. That means you're definitely gonna lose. Yeah, okay. I feel like I've been overconfident, so now I'm gonna lose, like universe karma. <laughs> It won't be any, it won't be due to lack of talent or anything, it'll be universe karma. I don't know how the game determines first player. We always just say who won the last game. Yeah, we Is just determine the, it through whoever won the last game. I was actually thinking of that. Maybe it's the last person who like killed a werewolf. We determine first player by whoever had won the last game. So mm -hmm. that will be me because again, I'm on a four game winning streak. Let's just get into wow. it. Ah! All right. So, like we said, you start off by doing the old, <laughs> <laughs> the Cupid shuffle. As suspected, Jamie shuffling is oh, God. Okay. not the best. It's not the best. So, Do you want me to shuffle? No. I did a great job. Okay. I'm learning. So, then you deal out enough for four players, five cards each. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Then we take two away. Jeff gets a pile, Jamie gets a pile, and then we're gonna set the deck right here. So like Jeff just did, we're just going to put our cards face down in front of us, and we can look at two of our cards. So it's a secret. Now you put them back in the same spot, and because Jeff won the last game, we will let him Say go that first. Louder. <laughs> All right, I'm going first, so first thing I'm gonna do is Draw a card and take a look at it. And it is not a card I want at this time. So I want to discard it to take advantage of its ability at the bottom. And on the five card, it is flip the deck over. So what I would do is take the deck and as stated, literally just flip it over and unfortunately is going to give Jamie access to a great card as this is still the deck, but now it is just face up. I already forget what cards that I looked at. I hate when I do that. So I am going to take the one. So since she's taking it face up, she gets to play it into her space. And then I up. will discard this nine that I happened to pull blindly and luckily. So Jamie's luck just helped. I am going to take, I do not want the nine. So my options are I could take the nine and put it into my village. I can take the eight and add it or discard it. Um, I'm going to take the eight and discard it, which allows me to shuffle all face down cards in any player's village. So I will take Jamie's face down cards, if I can get them. So now it doesn't really matter the and ones that I memorized because I have, will have no idea where they are. I will shuffle them and put them back in the same order that they were, and Jamie now does not know which cards are which. Joke's on you, because I forgot what they were anyway. Mm, so, indeed. So now my options take the eight or the four. The four is a tough card, because it's kind of like on the brink of, is this worth it or not? Right. So I typically don't take it, so I'm putting the four into the discard pile, and I can't use the action, because there's nothing that allows me to do the action. It's and not in my village. Jamie does have a card face up, which does give her access to this action. So my card that's face up right now is the Lycan number one. So when she is face up, I can add one to the value of a card when discarded. So let's say I knew that this was a four and this was a three. I can add one to the three so I can discard the three and the four at the same time as if they were a match. As if they were both fours. Exactly. Okay, 
This is one of the interesting cards in the deck. Sometimes it's great, a lot of the time it's not great. I am going to take the 10 and discard it, which allows oh. me to move 10 cards from the deck to the discard pile. Garbage So card. I am literally going to take the deck and discard 10. <sighs> I'd like to so have that too. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10. Are you kidding? And interestingly enough, it's all the tens. It's another 10. So my option is I could take a 10 or I could take a 10 or I could discard the 10, but then we're losing 10 more cards. And this is a situation where we might run out of cards before either of us gets to call a vote, but I really don't want that 10. Yeah, the 10 cards can really speed up Ugh. the uh, game it. flow. So, same Discarding thing. 10 more. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh my god. god! Are you kidding me? So this is... Take the 10, Jeff! This is crazy because... I mean, keep in mind, I've only looked at the first, I only know what these two cards are right now. I have no idea what these are because I haven't had the ability to do anything because of these tens. I mean, I'm actually going to take the four. Uh, no, yeah, I'm take not. The four. Take the four. I'm not going to take the four because there's a zero underneath. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's just, let's just see. Let's okay. just do it. Do I'm going to do the 10. So I discard 10 more. I know there's not 10 cards here, but just for the sake of the video, one, two, three, four, five, no cards left. That ends the round. So then we go to scoring. Right, so to score, we flip over all of our cards and we have to count them. Okay, so mine's actually not too, too bad. Mine isn't great. Counters first. So I, have, so I have the 13 card and at scoring the 13 card is worth the lowest card in my village So the 13 is actually only worth one. Yeah, so copy, I have the six, copycat. 12 <laughs> 17 Jamie's math skills are <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah, 17 um, My cards are Unfortunately, none of them give me any benefit at scoring. They're literally all cards that would have benefited me during the round. Mm -hmm. I have 14, 20, and then 26. Right. Which is... Garbage. Not great, okay. but that is one of the oddest rounds I think we've ever had, given that we kept pulling the tens. Exactly. So I just marked them down here on the little score pad. Jamie 17, Jeff 26, which means... This is not a good start for Team Jeff. Feeling great for Team Jamie. So now we just go through the whole process again. Maybe I will get Jeff to shuffle this time. We always Pro just, shuffle. We just leave the silver bullet there, so... Apologize for any hair. We do have animals. Like a million of them. Jamie is a wannabe zookeeper, zoo keeper, I think. <laughs> So, thank you. And again, we lay them out and look at two of our choice. We both have the tendency to pick the first two because they're the easiest to remember. Look at two at the end. Okay. Jamie won last round, so she <laughs> begins. We'll go first. All right. I forget what my cards are. Ugh, I always do that. Okay, I think. Uh oh. I think this. Ugh. Wrist. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. All right, so I don't want that eight. I'm gonna take one off here. This one is actually great. Um, so the six allows me to flip any card over in my village. So I know what these two are. I think I'm gonna flip a random one just so I know what I got and I flip up a four. So I don't want the five. So I'm going to do the action, which is flip the deck over. So we did that last round. I personally hate when the deck, I, I like the mystery, but. I like when the deck is flipped for <sighs> sure. I'm going to take this three. And again, I know what this card is. So I'm going to discard it, which is the dreaded 10. 10. Okay, so I'm going to take the one and I'm going to do a multiple discard. So I'll take the one. And I've got two fours, so I'm discarding both of the fours, and then I can put the one in my village face up. So this is how you get down to the possibility of right. voting. 
by discarding multiples of the same yeah, so number. Yes, technically I could call a vote on my next turn, but obviously I don't know what <laughs> my cards are, so it's um, a bad idea. So this is actually interesting. So there's a three and a four up. I have a three and a four in my village. So I will take the three because I know I have it and it will allow me a future potential multiple discard. So I'll take the three. I still don't know what these two are. So I'm going to exchange one of these, but the risk is that they could obviously be lower than a three. I don't know what they are. Um, luckily for me this time, it's a nine. So I benefited from that. And I'm going to take this one and I don't know what these cards are. So it's a good exchange. Now, I still don't know what this is, and I cannot remember what this is. Um, <laughs> Story of our lives. So, I'm actually going to discard the five to flip the deck mm -hmm. back over. Good. And then we will proceed as per normal. Yeah, okay. So keep in mind, Jamie could call a vote at any time, given that she has four cards this in is, her village. This is risky business, right? I have no idea. Oh, oof. So Jamie gets lucky as per usual. I will take this and I'm going to actually exchange this with this. But since I took it off the deck, I don't get to flip it up. It stays face down. And then I will put the eight here. Uh, ooh, okay. So I pulled the 12. The 12 is the only card that when you pull it from the deck, you automatically flip it face up and you give it to your an opponent, to your end opponent. To, to an, an opponent. opponent. And you put it on the end. So yeah, Jamie's got four cards and two ones. So the likelihood of her calling a vote next turn is high, given that she just gave me this 12 and that I have all of these cards left. So I'm going to pull one up. Um, it's an exchange card, which is phenomenal for, for me. So the 11 is exchange one card from any player with one card from a different player. So I'm obviously going to take this 12 and exchange it with Jamie's one and put the one in my village. Okay. Ah! So I pulled another 12, so that goes to Jack. Fantastic! So I'm gonna pull another card, and so the nine allows me to use a discard ability of one face-up card in any village. So I'm gonna use the discard ability of my 12, which states turn this card face up and add it to any player's village. So he's going to give me I'm going to give Jamie the 12 and we will move on. So I got super lucky here. Yeah. So now Jamie no longer can call a vote because she has five cards in her village. Right. But what I'm going to do instead is I'll take this card and discard the two 12s. Where they're a matching set, I can discard them both. Okay. I don't want the 12, so I'm going to pull the card. I am actually going to put it here and discard... This, 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 and this. Garbage. The first time in our history. If I did that too fast, I apologize. I basically took one card and replaced four threes. I had four threes in my village, and I don't believe that has happened in the history of us playing this game. So the tides have turned. Jeff is back in business, everybody. There's that ten. Jamie pulls the discard of ten. Two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn it. Oh, man. Yeah. oh so I, I will take the two. I will exchange it for my four. I like to take the risks. Okay, I'm going to take that and discard that. So my priest allows me, when face up, I can flip one of my cards over. So I'll take advantage of that and flip up the third card in my village which I knew was a zero. Ridiculous. Um, and the hunter, which is the best card in the game, when face up at the end of the game, remove one card before scoring. So basically at the end, you can remove a card from your scoring and it doesn't count. I have not taken an action. My action right now will be to call for a vote. I really am hoping that I pull an 11 right now. It doesn't really matter though, because you have the zero. Okay, so vote stands. Oops, I've called for a vote. Jamie's taken her last turn. So now we go to scoring. I still have no idea what this card is. I never saw it. Oh, great. Oh, I could have got rid of two sevens. 
Son of a gun. So then we'll do our, I'll let Jamie count hers first and then I'll go through mine because it's a little bit more complicated. So my 13 is worth only a one. So that's two, so I have seven, seven, 14. Okay, and so when I do my counting again, since I've flipped up the hunter, at the end of the round, I can remove one card before scoring. So I will remove the 12 from scoring, therefore leaving me with three. I've won the vote, which gives me the silver bullet for next round. And again, the silver bullet allows me to remove one of my cards um, from scoring at the end. So tides have turned a little bit here for, for Team Jeff. Feeling pretty... Uh, Pretty good after that one. But we'll see. Things can better. change pretty quickly. That's true. In Silver Bullet. I won last round, so I go first. I've already looked at my cards. Jamie's looked at hit hers. His. His. I will play down to seven, which allows me to view all of my face down cards. So I can look at all these cards. They need to go back in the same order that I view them in. And then the real challenge being to remember what they all are. So I'm going to take one quick look again. The real kicker is here and something that I seem to be able to do often is pull the eight, which will allow me to shuffle all of his face yes, down cards. So let's see. That is a tendency I didn't of Jamie's. Get it. Didn't get it. And I pulled the four, but I never take the four. Now I know that Jamie's two cards here are likely less than a four. Yeah. Otherwise she would have taken. So I'm going to take this. I've pulled a 12, I'm going to give it to Jamie because that ability allows me to uh, give the 12 to another player. Okay, so I pulled the 9 and we've used this one before but the 9 allows me to use any of the flip abilities or the discard abilities so that means I can give the 12 to Jeffrey. I will pull a card and I'm going to take this card and replace the 12 to see it. Okay, so I pulled a six, which means I can flip any card over in my village. So I'll flip this one, because I didn't know what it was. Now I do. Okay, then to me, I've pulled another 12. Jeez I will give please. it to Jamie. Cabbage. Okay, so. I don't remember what any of my cards are. Okay, um, I've pulled that eight, which allows me to shuffle face down cards in any player's village. I will pick Jamie because she's my only <laughs> opponent. And even if we were in a group of four, he I would so. likely pick her anyway. That's true. Because if I can't win, <laughs> that's fine. Neither can I. But neither can Jamie. Okay. So six. So I'm going to flip over this one. Okay. I'm going to take this. My goodness, I don't remember. Um, I think I'm going to replace it with this one. Whew. That was some luck, people. Didn't remember what that was. Perfect, so I am replaced. Okay, so I'll take a new card again, and it is the dreaded 10. Ugh. So I will discard 10. All the good cards. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we're off to the races. Oh my god. Ugh. We are not getting cards here this hand, people. No, it's this nine. This is an I don't ugly one. Alright, I'm going to take this. I am going to. Oh my goodness. This is tough. Yeah, I don't know what any of my cards. Like, I know what some of them are, but I don't know where they are. I am actually going to replace these two because I believe these are the same card. Now, if they are not, let's just say, for example, I've said these two are the same. I flip them over and they're not actually the same. You have to keep them in your village plus the card you took. Yeah. So some serious risk here, but I'm pretty sure these are both threes. They are, I will put them here. Okay, I'm gonna take one of those threes. You take <laughs> one. But I don't know what anything is, but I do know a three's less than a four. I'm gonna take that four and replace it with this one. Aha, okay. I don't know. Ugh. Ooh, I'm actually going to take that three and replace the four and replace the four, but I'm also going to replace this one, which I believe is a four. Oh my God. And this one, which I believe Are is a four. Are you kidding me? Oh no. 
All right, so the dreaded thing has happened. I screwed up. I have to keep all of the cards. All of the cards. So this was here, this was here, and this will have to go over here at the end. Womp. Womp for Jeff. And I for we forgot to mention as well with the three, when we discard a card, if we have a three face up, right. we can choose to discard that to the bottom of the deck instead of the discard. Right, which would extend the game and yeah. And that if that is... card is face up, then you put it in the deck face up. Okay, kidding me. Oh, so I'll, I'm actually going to do that. Okay, I now know after my last mess up what these are. So I'm gonna take this and this, they're both fours, and discard them, um, just so it looks oh normal. Oh my god. Got enough nines? Um, neither of us have four cards, so we have to continue. You cannot call a vote. I have pulled the ten, which in effect will end the round. So I would discard ten, but there is only three. And Jeff did not use his silver bullet. And I did not use my silver bullet, which is a tendency I have mm -hmm. of not using it. Do you have to use it during the round? Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately I didn't use a silver bullet, so I'm... Um, now you lose it? I, yeah, I, th I do believe you lose it. Huh, this says Jeff, the player with the lowest score for the previous round receives a silver bullet. So learning moment, scratch everything you've learned. <laughs> up until this point. We just discovered that the silver bullet actually goes to each person at the end of each round that has the lowest score. We've mentioned that we were under the impression, and that's just our fault for misreading the rules, that you had to vote in order to get the silver bullet. That's actually inaccurate. It's whoever has the lowest, the least points at the end of a round gets the silver bullet, or if you call for a vote, correct? Exactly, yeah. So technically at the end of the first round, I would have gotten it, you would have gotten it for... Yeah this round, so that's fine as well. So, yeah, we've been doing that incorrectly, but the beauty of it is we've done it incorrectly the entire time, so in terms of fairness, it's fine. It's it's fine. Now, but anyway, yeah, in that round, I didn't use a silver bullet, um, so it will get reassigned, unfortunately. I messed up on that, so, but I also have really great cards here. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so I, uh, I have a 12. So 12 plus three, 12. 21. Jamie has 21. I, so these were all face down when the round ended, so I can't trigger the zeros special ability, unfortunately. They just count as zeros. My 13 counts as the card lowest in value at the end of the round, which is a zero, so it is also a zero, which leaves me with a two and a three for five points total. I was the lowest score last round. Of five, I take the silver bullet, which is what we've been doing incorrectly. Yeah. Um, that actually makes a whole lot more sense because I was playing it being like, we literally never use a silver bullet. So now that we know. You know. You know. <laughs> You're welcome. You are welcome for our error. So I have the silver bullet for this final round. Yes, this is the final and round. I am winning by a decent enough amount that I feel like the win streak's gonna go to five. Time will tell. Karma may take over, the universe may get its say, but I'm feeling super confident here. Okie dokie, here we go, final round people, we're into it. Those are ugly, or are they? Nobody knows. Nobody no. knows, nobody knows. All right, I won last round, I'm gonna go first. And we're starting off oh with the God. dreaded 10. I literally, Jamie's favorite I card. Hate that card. One, two, three, four, five, Look six, seven, cards. eight, nine, ten. That sucks for me. No, because nope, I can't. Nope, never mind. It, it doesn't. I lied. Scratch that. Okay. Oh. Another ten! This Woo! is crazy. Two, three, four, five. Eight, nine, ten. So the hilarious thing with the ten is this like, is like exactly you what could take it into your hand to avoid doing the discard, but it sucks to we have barely it. got any game left. It sucks to have it in your hand, and yeah, we've already discarded twenty cards from those two, so we're running out of cards already. Round's almost over, so I'm going to take one here. Is it a ten? Um, Keep it. It is not. I'm going to put it at the end and discard an eleven. Can't remember exactly what these cards were. That'll do. All right, I do not want the nine. I'm gonna draw and I'll take that and discard the seven. Okay. 
And I'm gonna take this and discard a seven. Okay, I do not want the seven. I'm going to take an eight and yeah. shuffle Jamie's cards so that she does not know what order she has them in. Okay, now I just don't know if that's a... Ooh, Jamie has blindly discarded a 13. All right, I'm going to take the 13. Now, I have a similar problem because I don't know what these cards are. Um, I'm going to chance it that this is worse. Oh! Way worse. The universe is on Jeff's side, it seems. This is a risk. There's only three cards left. And I have remembered that I have the silver bullet. I'm just preparing for a future use in the event I need it. This could go one way or the other. But Jamie is blindly discarding okay. again. Oh boy. All right, here we are. Jeff's gonna pull one. Don't know why I'm talking about myself in the third person. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this card is. I'm gonna discard it. Zero. Oh, that is not great. Oh, okay, good. I have discarded a two for Jamie. So I'm gonna take this and... She has discarded a three. Apparently I have all my a, cards are good. I have a silver bullet. I'm going to actually place oh it God. on the two so that Jamie can't take advantage of the um, two ability, which is to flip up cards each turn. I don't want her to have that this late into the game. She has given me the finger um, <laughs> off camera. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, through all this talking, I've forgotten what my cards are. Good. Um, I'm gonna take the three. And I don't know what this card is, so here we go. Thank goodness I did that. Six is gone. Okay. I don't know what this is. Story of my life. Okay. Jamie That's has fine. flipped a four. There is one card left on the deck. Um, it does not matter at this point. That would just be a shuffle of the cards. But since we're done, we're just into the end round anyway. So we're flipping, so I won't bother shuffling. And now we see what we got. Oh my god! So, <gasps> winner winner chicken dinner I think is coming here folks. This game is- Woo! Five in a row for the kid! Whatever. 13, Ladies and gentlemen. 14, 15, 16, 17. 18. In the right corner. Okay. All right, so I'm going to do my count. The th uh, zero was not flipped up so I cannot take advantage of removing a card at scoring. However, Copycat counts as your lowest card, which is a zero. So those will be gone. I have seven total points. Yes, and I do believe I have eviscerated Jamie for my fifth in a row victory, people. This is the, the worst I've ever done. What a game from the kid. But so, that is... Yeah, that's how you play Silver, silver Bullet. Bullet even though we did it incorrectly for three quarters of the time. Betty, that was our playthrough for Silver Bullet. Doesn't matter who wins. Because ah, we're just playing for fun. Five in a row. Yeah, right. How come when I win, we're playing for fun, and when you win, it's like... You suck. Yeah. You okay. gave me the finger off camera. We'll do it on camera too, just don't tempt me. And if you want to watch our how to play video, again, for a bit more of an in-depth instructional video then I'll make sure to link that video down below as well but we appreciate you joining along for our playthrough and let us know if you've tried this game if you want to try this game all that good stuff yeah okay. if you want to if you want to come back and watch me win more games do it like maybe there is this weird attachment to us now doing these videos and me winning games so please continue to come watch so that we keep go doing going we yeah, keep doing we, we content do so that i keep winning games like this is amazing whatever what a sourpuss thank you guys so much for watching if you like what you see please subscribe like and share don't forget to follow us on social media at foster the meeple or on instagram it's at foster dot the dot meeple we couldn't get just foster the meeple someone so has okay. that and they post pictures of like license plates <laughs> really so yeah it's super Sweet. random follow them too who cares all right <laughs> thanks for watching bye later days <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Why was that funny? Because I took a deep breath in. We both did. Brought to you again by Bubbly. Bublé. Why do you always say that? It's not Bublé. Hello everyone! Hey me. And I'm Jeff. And we are here today to do... Why are you laughing? I'm just not... Like, I find not like, funny. No, but when I say like, and I'm Jeff, I just feel so like... Monotone. Like, I'm Jeff. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. No charisma. Me. No. I'm mad. Good game. No, it wasn't a good Woo! game. I think it was all garbage. We <laughs> pulled all the bad parts. I need an air horn for when I win. God, I do not want you to get an air horn. All the other kids with the pumped up kids better run down Faster than my bullet. <sighs> all right, I need to eat. Fritos! <laughs> 